What if Dark Venom number no. 1 was published few days ago with this impressive cover, showing Thing bonding with the Venom symbiote? The What If stories explore how the Marvel Universe might have unfolded if key moments in its history had not happened as they did in mainstream continuity. When Spider Man received a new costume during the Secret Wars, he was unaware that it was a living symbiote that was bonded to him. After having tests by Reed Richards, the symbiote was removed and kept in a cage. Ben Grimm, aka The Thing, left the Fantastic Four after the events of the Secret Wars and went out on his own, but what if he returned to his old team and found the symbiote still locked up? Ben tells Reed that he still feels guilty for turning him into The Thing, but Reed says that he tries everything to find a cure for him. Reed then goes to meet a reporter, leaving Ben alone with the symbiote. Ben tells the symbiote that they are both monsters who scare people, that call them names and hide their kids from them. The symbiote then shows Ben that it wants to get out, but Ben tells it that he can't let it out, then changes his mind. Ben thought that they could both help each other and freed the symbiote from its cage. Bonding with Ben, the symbiote remarked that he is the perfect host and more suited to the symbiote than Spider-Man himself. Reed then returned to find Ben bonded with the symbiote. Ben said that the symbiote called him, but Reed told him that it infected Spider-Man and latched on his conscience. The symbiote then retracted and cured Ben as promised, reverting him back to his human form as he always wanted. Reed, however, told Ben that bonding with the symbiote is not the way to solve his problem before trying to blast him. Ben managed to evade the blast and told Reed that he finally found a way to cure himself, but Reed's ego can't stand that. Ben took the weapon from Reed and crushed it, then told Reed to stay out of his way before leaving the building. Meanwhile, in the sewers, Lizard says that something has changed and that he can smell it, remarking that the symbiote is free. Later on, Ben was enjoying his time as a normal man, since that accident which turned him into the thing. When the symbiote sensed that there was something wrong and bonded with him. Lizard then broke his way out of the sewers and confronted Ben. Ben attacked Lizard who said that he did not come to fight, but Ben still knocked him into the wall with a powerful punch. Lizard told Ben that the Fantastic Four lied to him, but Ben did not back off and pinned Lizard to the wall. Lizard said that the Fantastic Four lied when they told Ben that he was still one of them, but they only said that because they were afraid and that they are both monsters that will never be accepted, no matter how hard they try. Ben told Lizard that he hurt people and that he is not like him, but Lizard said that without the Fantastic Four on his side, Ben would never be seen as a hero. Lizard just wanted to help others by regenerating limbs and used himself as his own test subject. He never stopped trying to help, even when the Fantastic Four misunderstood his intentions and even when the world hated him. He then told Ben that the symbiote which cured him could help thousands of people and that sharing his cure is what a hero would do. With that, Lizard convinced Ben to go with him to his lab and put him in a glass tube for test. Lizard assured Ben that this was going to work before taking the symbiote out of Ben's body and putting it in a small tube. Later on, Lizard bonded with the symbiote and attacked Reed and Sue in the Baxter building, smashing the ground beneath them and dropping them to the floor below. Lizard then launched at Reed with great force and pounded on him. Meanwhile, Ben was still trying to break out of the tube and finally managed to turn into the thing and break his way out. Back in Baxter building, Sue attacked Lizard but could not put him down. Lizard then retaliated and killed her. The villain told Reed that he thought of him as a creature and thought that he was the smartest man around, but he was wrong about that. Reed tried to fight back and attacked Lizard, who just bit his arm off. Ben then arrived and confronted Lizard, who told him that he was too late, then brutally killed Reed. Ben could not believe what he saw and collapsed, saying that he should have listened to Reed. 
Lizard told Ben that Reed was selfish and wanted the symbiote for himself and that they are better without him around. Enraged, Ben attacked Lizard and knocked him out of the building. As they fell, the symbiote remarked that they make monsters who grow as they feed them and become consumed by them. The symbiote then left Lizard and bonded with Ben before crashing into the street below, severely damaging Lizard. Ben then picked up the lizard from his head, who asked Ben about Reed's opinion regarding this. Ben told Lizard that he doesn't know about that, as Reed is not around, before smashing Lizard's head and killing him, with the symbiote remarking that Ben is the perfect host, and that the man has become the monster. With all the rage boiling up in his chest, after he saw Lizard killing Reed, Ben became the symbiote's greatest host, feeding him with more rage and consuming him at the same time, until he reached the point where he killed Lizard without any feeling of remorse. Hope you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.